What's going on everybody? So let's wrap up the UA Next Future 50 event. There are nine players I'm gonna talk about in this video. First off, the sessions, the way it worked was in the morning, they did position drills, some one-on-one -on -one action. They came back in the afternoon, they beat the weather, they played a seven-on-seven -seven event, won by the West team, 48-20 over the East squad. And also they had a big man challenge, and that's where I'm gonna start with in Miami commitment, Francis Maui Goa, an offensive lineman, highly regarded, one of the best players in the country, took home the MVP, the best player in the big man challenge. And just starting off, he was the first guy I watched for in the, in the drills in the morning. I thought he looked good. He's one of these guys that wherever he plays out at, at the next level, certainly tackle, he could do that. He could play guard. He just, I just think he's gonna be very good of wherever you put him. He has good footwork, a great body. I really thought, you know, just my initial impressions before the camp even begun, he was going through some drills on his own as, they, as the players were checking, out, checking in before warm-ups, before any of this stuff. And he was also getting some coaching in. And I thought that was good to see. Seems like he's a very coachable guy. Um, it just seems like he really enjoys the game, did well in drills, did well on the one-on-one -on -one stuff in the morning, and then backed that up here in the afternoon. Once again, he dominated the one-on-one -on -one competition. He just overmatches his opponents, that's simply put. He, he did a great job keeping the defensive linemen, the defensive ends off of him. Uh, they couldn't get much of a pass rush. He did a great job. And one thing too that I want to note was in this second session, there was a uh, rain delay or, or a little bit of a weather, it was a lightning delay, it didn't really rain. But you know, everybody goes underneath the, the stadium and he's hanging out with Miami commitment, Riley Williams, who I'm gonna talk about next. And also Jaden Wayne was here. Jaden didn't participate, but he's going to be going to IMG with Riley, with Francis, and the three of them did a good job. They seemed to have a good time just chatting and, and talking while we were waiting in the, the lightning delay. So I thought that was good. I said hi to Jaden real quick. Got a quick video or a quick picture of him throwing up the U. So he seemed to be having a good time. Let's talk about Riley Williams. I'm gonna talk about Riley, the second Miami commitment. And then I also wanna talk about the guy that I was most excited about watching, you know, who impressed me the most, or, or maybe just who I enjoyed watching the most. But first, let's talk about Riley Williams. You know, he's listed as a wide receiver tight end, and he certainly played in that tight end spot. He's a guy that, like I said, he's gonna be going to IMG. You know, I, I thought early on in the morning session, he kind of struggled at times during the drills, but certainly what stands out to you is his frame. You know, when I say struggled, it was more of his athletic ability. He caught just about everything I saw. It wasn't anything like that, so he didn't have a problem with the, with the drops. It's just when you're evaluating these guys and he's a top level tight end, maybe for example, like I, I do like him, but at this point, you know, maybe comparing them to Miami current tight ends, Elijah Arroyo, and then they brought in Jaleel Skinner. I think both of those two players at this point in their careers are, were ahead of what I've seen from Riley Williams. But I will say, although, you know, there was some stuff in the drills, and I'm gonna post the full video of the drills that I saw and that let, let you guys see it. So definitely stay tuned to the channel so you can see what he looks like in these drills. But I will say, in the seven on seven, event here this afternoon he did a good job scored a touchdown he might have had two i have to run it back and check but my point is he was very active in the seven on seven event and i thought that was good you know that he got open it's kind of a mismatch because of his height i do think you know even though elijah and jaleel and i hate comparing players i'm uh, just trying to give you guys a little bit of understanding of kind of what i'm seeing today i do think he's got upside and i will be very curious to see how things go at img because he could certainly develop and get better that's certainly the plan guy out of portland so you know it's going to be very interesting so let's talk about the guy that i was most in who i most enjoyed watching today you know francis really dominated the competition that was fun but you know when, when i do videos i try to i just try to keep the camera on these guys as much as possible and that's what stood out to me with Janelle Aguero. And I'm gonna talk about the other two defensive backs and Cormani McLean, and also a 2024 guy to keep your eye on and Desmond Ricks. I'm gonna talk about those three guys because certainly I paid a lot of attention to the defensive backs. You know, but when I'm watching this guy, you know, with Janelle, he, he just, you know, I'm watching him warm up and, and watching these guys go through stretching and he just kind of just has this professional approach to it. And he's always, you know, I always watched him, other guys were going through the drills, but he's kind of working on reps on his own or doing extra stretching or whatever it might've been. He was just kind of doing a little bit extra on his own to either get loose or just kind of be ready for the next rep, whatever it might be. But, you know, as a safety prospect, he certainly looked good. You know, one-on-one -on -one stuff, 
you're going to get beat. And I will say this, a lot of the defensive backs got beat out here today. There were a lot of big time receivers who just made plays. The quarterbacks were great. Malachi Nelson took home the overall MVP award today. But, you know, I thought Janelle, he looked good. Aguero, you know, just kind of moves. He moves really well. Obviously, in, with the safety, you want to see how he is with pads on and how he hits. But physically, you thought he looked great. Like I said, it was just this professional approach that I kind of noticed. And that's one of these things that are, I'm just really glad to be out here for, for this kind of an event. You know, see these guys in person and really just watch everything. And that was something. Uh, he, he was, you know, paired up with Cormani McLean in the 7-on-7 seven seven event. Uh, they were on the si same side of the field at times, you know, with Cormani playing the cornerback spot. So that was kind of fun to see just two high-level guys that I'd already known about and had seen before, you know, playing alongside each other. So let, let's talk about Cormani, you know, just once again, really come away, just really impressed with him. D did well in drills. You know, he took some coaching. There were some things, maybe some drill stuff that he could have got better on, and he did. You know, he listened to the coaches. Made, and we're talking about these little tweaks with these the coaching they're getting out here. NFL coaches were out here, or guys that played in the NFL were out here. So they, they got some good coaching and I thought Komani did a good job adjusting his game listening to a lot of things and then he's just tough to go against you know he's a guy with great fluid mo movement and his height stands out and he just had another good performance you know Miami's in the mix he, he took an official visit so we'll see how things go from here but just want to talk about him because I, I paid close attention to him and then the other defensive back I paid attention to, Desmond Ricks, you know, he's already one of those top five corners, top five defensive backs in the 2024 class. He's a guy that, you know, when, when you see these guys, you wonder, do they look like the 2023s? And there were about five 24s out here. And, and Ricks just, you know, he looked like everybody else, um, either physically, ability-wise. He wasn't overmatched because of his age or anything like that. That's what you like to see. I think what stood out to me was, He's, he's got another, kind of like Cormani, just a great frame to him. Just tall guy that can play corner, moves his hips well, gets in and out of his breaks, did a good job with the transition stuff that they were doing in, in the defensive back drills. And I thought he did good also in, in some one-on-one -on -one and some uh, going against receivers. So Desmond Ricks, again, is a 2024 guy, but just someone to keep an eye on. All right, let's keep it going. Five down, four to go. Let's start with the defensive linemen. Now these two guys at Miami, you know, maybe could still pursue um, Collins Achampo, you know, he's a guy that you guys know already. He picked Michigan recently, but we'll see. Maybe Miami gets back in the picture, but he was out here, so I watched him, and also he's a defensive lineman. You know, and he's one of these guys that's just really intriguing because of his experience or lack of experience with everything that's happened in his high school career. But, you know, certainly what stands out to you or stands out to me with him is his athletic ability. He's a tall guy. I thought he moved well, certainly raw, but I thought he made plays, and, and certainly you can see why a lot of people are after him and just one of these athletic guys and, and we'll see how things kind of move forward with or without Miami but once again he's a name you guys know he was a guy I paid attention to out here and another guy just to kind of watch it on defensive line because when you're watching the position groups you're always trying to watch other guys as well and that's Jordan Renault you know he's a guy originally from Florida um, you know he's from, he lives in Texas now so you know just watching Jordan just an explosive defensive end once again I'll have video of him on the channel but I thought he did good. In particular, they did these drills where they had about six of the pads up and the defensive linemen were told to either hit certain pads, miss them, go around them. It was different types of things that they were instructed to do and I thought Jordan did a good job. Whatever uh, he was asked to do, I thought he did a good job showing his explosion, explosion around the edge but also finishing and making plays. And again, you can see the ability. It's definitely there. We'll see if Miami becomes in the picture. But certainly, I, I watched him today, and so that's seven down. We got two more left. Many of you are very intrigued by offensive lineman Olas Alanins, and I will say this: you know, and I th I'm just going to say, I think more. I think there are other people that are higher on him as a player and as a prospect than I am. You know, just what I saw today, I thought his footwork could improve. I thought his hand placement. I think they're just kind of all around. I, th I think there's just a lot of room for improvement with him. And again. It's just what I saw, it's what I noticed. Um, once again, we all see different things, I, but I just think other people probably either view them, whether it's coaches or other people that were out here in, in the media watching these guys. And there were a lot of reporters out here coming to this event, but I just think that overall, there's probably other people that are higher on him than I am. And I'm curious to see because anytime you start making opinions on guys, I hate doing it on a one day thing, And but I'm very curious to see how he does moving forward. He's one of these intriguing guys 
because of his background and where he comes from and we'll see how he does his senior year but but certainly um, the size is there it's just some of these other things athletically that you know I would have liked to have seen more and the ninth and final guy that I really paid close attention to is another 2024 guy. He's gonna play out here during his junior year, and that's Jerry Gibson, a running back. He actually took home the MVP award for him from the running backs based on his work in the drills in the morning session. And again, they're, they're not you know being tackled, the running backs, and, and certainly that's a big part of being a running back, but the speed is there, that you know, just being up close person up close to him. The size is there, I thought he looked great. And also he showed some pass catching ability. And I think that's what stood out today with him. He's it's kind of a dynamic guy. Once again, I'm curious to see how he does this season. But being out here at IMG, hopefully he can get back out here for a game and see how all these guys that were here today, how they do with pads on during their seasons. And maybe they show improvement or, or different, something different with, with pads on. And Jarrett could be one of those guys. I'm just, before I wrap this thing up, I'm gonna give you two bonus names, guys that stood out to me, stood out to a lot of people here, I'm sure, and that's wide receivers, Zach, Zachariah Branch, and also Aiden Williams. Both of those guys in the drills did well that when they come out here and made plays. I'll give you another bonus name, Jonte Cook did well also. Guys just making big plays on the seven on seven event. You know, Aiden Williams really turned it up a notch, catching 40 yard bombs. Uh, so those three guys all made huge plays, probably the top three performers in the seven on seven. I want to thank everybody for watching this. But once again, these are just my thoughts, my opinions, what I saw out here today. But you can definitely provide your thoughts and opinions on all of the videos on this as well. Maybe I'm wrong on some things, but I'm going to show you guys. I Hopefully I can have the nine guys, hopefully I have individual videos on all nine so you can see them. Also, I'm hoping to get the full seven on seven game up and post that to the channel as well so you guys can see that. I'll, maybe there's some other guys that stood out to you. I've got the roster right here in my hand. I'll post that on the channel as well so you guys can see. Maybe there's some guys that I missed, but I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. Stay tuned, not just to the channel, but more VIP content and more content will be on the website inside the U.com. I'm gonna get going here in Bradenton. It's been a good, uh, a good bounce back performance for me. I felt better about today. There were a lot of things yesterday that didn't go my way that um, I was able to kind of rally, rally it up and have a better uh, feel good about uh, things today. So anyways, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day and take care.